Kuren, welcome back to Todzone and Ningzone Online. If this is your first time or second time tuning with us, we welcome you. If you have missed our lesson, please visit the link below. From the Beatitude series, I love Jesus more and I need Him more every day. Do you know why, children? Yes, it's because Jesus called me blessed even when I'm sad, when I'm hungry, and when I'm humble, and when I'm weak. Yes, I'm excited to learn more about Jesus. This week, we are learning the seven Beatitudes. Can you repeat after me? Seven. Yes, the seven Beatitudes. Come, let's get ready for praise and worship. But before that, let's invite Sophia to pray for us. Thank you God for loving me and my friends and my teachers too. Keep us safe all this and praying to the same amen. Hi children, we have learned six Beatitudes. Let's read them together. The first, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The second, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. The third, Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. The fourth, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. The fifth, blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. And the sixth, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Wow, we are going to learn the seventh beatitude. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Now children, we all want to be peacemakers. Let's find out how from today's lesson. Hi Maggie. Hi Tommy. Hi, Hi children. Tommy. Tommy, how have you been this week? Not great. I got into a fight with one of my friends. Oh no, what happened? Well, Tyler took my favourite pen without asking me and he accidentally broke it. I'm so angry at him. Well, have you tried talking to him? No, I'm waiting for him to apologize, but he hasn't said sorry yet. What if you were the one who talked to him first? Why would I do that? It's his fault. That's true, but the Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. Peacemakers? What are those? Well, peacemakers are people who resolve their fights in order to maintain peace. But if they are in a fight, aren't they angry? Maybe they are, but peacemakers realize that their relationships with a person is more important than whatever they're arguing about. Hmm, interesting. But how does that help me? Well, do you think your friendship with Tyler is more important than your fight about that pen? Yeah, I guess. It really was just a pen anyways. And I can always go get another one. Since you realize that, you should go talk to Tyler first and resolve the conflict. So, you want me to be a peacemaker? Exactly! It won't be easy, but it's what Jesus wants us all to do. Hmm, okay. I'll try. Thanks for your help, Maggie. No problem. Now children, let's prepare for our lesson today. Blessed are the peacemakers. peacemakers. Wow! Children, do you like to play with balls? I know I like to play with balls. You can kick the ball, you can throw the ball, you can play basketball and football. But sometimes, there's too many children and there's only one ball. And this happens. You start to fight over the ball because everybody wants to play with it at the same time. And sometimes your mommy and daddy will ask you to stop fighting and calm down because they want the household to be at peace. And actually, your mommy and daddy are peacemakers because they help stop the fighting and they bring peace to everyone. So what is peace and what is a peacemaker? Let's watch this short video to find out what a peacemaker is. Today we're going to learn about something Jesus said in the book of Matthew. Jesus says that God blesses those who work for peace. Hmm, 
What is peace? <gasps> Let's get our thinking caps on and find out. So, peace is freedom from upsetting thoughts or feelings. So, when I am peaceful, that means I am calm and happy. Hmm, let me think about my peaceful place. I think my peaceful place would have a waterfall and butterflies and raindrops that taste so sweet. That would make me happy and free from any upset feelings. Hmm, but Jesus says that we have to work for peace. Well, that means when everything is going crazy around us, like a big storm that comes around us and scares us, we can still find peace. How do we do that? Well, we look to Jesus. Have you ever been scared when it's dark? I know my peaceful place isn't dark, and sometimes I get scared when I can't see anything. Well, in those times, we can imagine that Jesus is there and that he gives us peace. But God also wants us to help other people find that same peace. So when you see someone else who's upset and doesn't have peace, you can help them find peace too. And when we do that, Jesus says that we will be called the children of God. <laughs> that means we're part of God's family and that he's our heavenly dad. And when we have a heavenly dad as great as God, well, we'll always have peace. Hello children, I hope you enjoyed that little video about peace and peacemakers. Once again, peace is freedom from any sad thoughts or feelings. Meaning that if you're sad, if you're worried, if you're angry, you can ask God for peace and He will give it to you. And you can do this anytime, wherever you are, because God is always with you and He hears all your prayers and because He loves you so much, He will give you peace. Jesus also asks us to be peacemakers. A peacemaker is somebody who brings peace to themselves and also everyone around them. This means that if you're in a fight with a friend like Tommy and Tyler with the puppets, you should always be the first to apologize. Maybe it's not your fault, but Jesus asks us to be peacemakers, meaning we should always be the first person to say, I am sorry. You can also pray for other people and ask God to give them peace because this way you can be a peacemaker and you can also show them what it's like to be a child of God. That is it for today's lesson and I hope you enjoyed it. Blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called the sons of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. Matthew 5 verse 9. Hi children, this week our memory verse is from Matthew chapter 5 verse 9. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 9 it says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. So children, when we are peacemakers, we are going to be called the children of God. Shall we sing this song together? And I want you to sing as loud as you can, okay? Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. Matthew 5 verse 9. Yay! Good job, children! Hi, children! Let's go through what we have learned today. There are three important things to remember. The first, Jesus gives us peace. The second, Jesus is our peacemaker. And the third, Jesus wants us to be a peacemaker to everyone. So think of a way where you can be a peacemaker at home or in school to all your friends and family members. Hope you are blessed by today's lesson. Bye! Hi children, what's the one thing that you have learned today? You can share with mommy and dad. 
One thing that I've learned today is that Jesus gave me peace and I want to be a peacemaker at home. Help, let us pray. Lord Jesus, you are our peacemaker. Thank you for giving us peace in all situations. Teach us, Lord, to be a peacemaker and bring peace to others. In Jesus' name, Amen. Join us again next week to learn the eighth beatitude. But before we go, let's sing together with Oliver this prayer and bless each other. See you again next time. Bye bye. <laughs>